Hey, what's happening guys? PG is here. In the last video, I'm going to show you how you can change the color of your notification panel as you see. So, hope you like that video. But this time, I'm going to show you how to make it fully transparent. For making transparent, we need a... This can be done by using two methods. That is by replacing PNGs and second is by changing the hex values. So, we're going to discuss the both methods. So, we are going to need requirements. The requirements are same as the previous one. But this time, we need Picard and Photoshop also. So here we go. First, you have to decompile your system UI. So I'm gonna undo doing that. So here's my work folder. Okay, here's my work folder. Here I'm going to open my IPK tool folder, and here's my system UI already decompiled system UI. You have to decompile. If you don't know how to decompile, you can use my previous videos. So here you open your system UI go to rest and trouble and here you find two xml file that are notification panel bg notification header bg that is open it with notepad plus plus and second you have to find qs background primary that is quick settings background primary open it both with notepad plus plus so after opening it you have to find their color codes here it is in the android drive drawable that is add color slash system scanry so you have to change it with the transparency levels that are hash 00 instead of hash ff and after that use six zeros that will make it fully transparent and do it with same with the second xml again use hash zero zero and after that six zeros without giving any spaces so this is the first method you can change the android color by changing the hex values but it will not work on some rooms but so we can use the second method if it works for you that's good if it not you can try the second method i'm going to show you that also so firstly i'm i have to undo the steps before uh, to uh, stop any error so I'm gonna undo the steps so I'm gonna change it to the uh, I'm going to restore the values that are color systems can be color and same for both after that save it you can also use this method if it's not work if other method is not working So you have to go back your save files and here these are the two xmls that are qs background primary and qs head i'm going to select it so these are the two files now we have to move to our phone so here phone open your picard if you don't know you can use also photoshop but photoshop is complicated so i'm going to do it with the picard so you can download it from the play store easily and it is free of course so here you have to draw a blank project with width is 30 and the height should be 60 with portrait no not landscape with landscape remember that header should be a landscape and the background primary should be a portrait so after that you will get this white image here you go to this boxes that are used to for layers so here layers is remove that layer or hide that layer now save it and save it to your gallery now again go back to the draw project and uh, pro draw project with, with height 90 and width 90 with portrait 
so I'm gonna do that. So here's 90 and this is also 90. Go to border and select OK. Do the same. Now again open layer and hide the white layer and it will make it transparent. Now save it. Now go back to your gallery. In gallery it should be like that. That I'm going to show you. So open your gallery. Go to your pick out folder and these are the two black images with different heights and different width. That are you. That are transparent because that's why they are uh, seeing black. So here the move to this images to your uh, windows so i have to stop there so here's our window work i already moved these pictures to my pc so these are the two pictures so now we have to rename it let's make sure this i have yes this is the header image it will show you the blank images because these are transparent images and let's see okay this is the background image with 1990 height and width okay now we have to again go open your xml files here rename it and copy the name of your xml and rename it with the header so here's my header image now do it with same with the background so going to rename it or you can use copy and rename it this with this so after it save these images now copy this both images and open your rest drawable of system UI here you have to go drawable HDPI and paste it here This is one of the simplest method to make it the transparent background or you can also use any images for your trans for your background header and your primary background that is your quick notification panel background. So now you have to let's check cross check it if it's here. So these are both both images. So this is the best, met best method I am going to suggest you if, if the first first method is not working by changing the hex values this method will definitely work so let's do not do other things just paste the images now you have to recompile your system UI that you know how to you can do that that is apk tool in small is apk2 b system ui if any error occurs you can ask me if you don't need any help you can join our facebook group for the further updates you can also like us on facebook if you need any help post your comment in the comment section So wait till it's working or compiling. Okay, now you have to sign it. Let you know all the steps. I'm going to sign in if you.
now you have to sign it after signing you have to flash it uh, or you, if you don't if you know how to push and pull you can also do that or i'm going to using the flash so here's my system files my updated script and i'm going to add here and to rename it my system ui Now I'm going to make it zip that we already know how to flash it and how to do that thing. Okay, here's my transmitter. I'm going to flash it after flashing. Let's see how it is work or not. So here's my flash after flash. So let's see the results. Okay, yeah, it's fully transparent. If you know, if you want to know how I change the quick setting text colors, you can check my system UI notification panel here. I tell you how to change that. So hope you like the video. If you